Welcome. In front of me is a OnePlus 8 and today I'll show you how to enable and also set up the Do Not Disturb mode. So to get started let's pull down the notification panel where you'll find Do Not Disturb mode toggle. And from here you can either tap on it to enable it or hold it so you can actually change the settings of it. So when you hold it you will see this page. So number one you have the schedule. So here you can either check the existing ones or create your own. And what this will do is basically enable the need for you to toggle it on and off uh, yourself. It will just be doing it that uh, based on the schedule. So at a specific time it will be turning on and off with the specific rules that it's set to. Do. So I'm gonna create a new one just so you can get a look at how it uh, will look like. So when you tap on add, you'll see this page. And number one, days of the week, you can choose whichever days of the week you want. And from here, just tap on the ones that you don't want. So I just make something like this, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, without uh, three days there. So the days that were checked will be the days that it will be working on. Then time it starts, let's make it a work one. So nine to five, two, end time to 5 p.m. There we go. So just an eight hour one. And then alarms can override end time. Uh, so I would enable this. Uh, it's good if you have some kind of uh, alarm set for some, I don't know, event that is happening uh, when you're at work, just so you can leave early. This will override the end time. So you can hear the alarm clock and basically everything will go back. Uh, the not this remote will kind of turn off at that point and then come back the next day it's set to. And then you have do not disturb mode behavior. So when you tap on it, you have the uh, use, defi use uh, defined settings uh, or create custom one. The defined ones are the ones that we can set as a general one for the entire do not disturb mode. That'd be if it's toggled manually uh, or um, basically tag manually and it will have all the settings there uh, that will apply to well, our right now specific custom made um, do not disturb mode and basically any other one if you were just to tag it from the notification panel but you can also create your own one so if you go in here uh, you can make this specific do not disturb mode that will be turning on during work time to have some kind of specific uh, exceptions that for instance you don't want any other do not disturb mode to have so let's just say allow calls and you can set it from uh, no one uh, so there we go don't allow any calls um, then you have allow repeat repeated calls that will basically allow someone to still reach you even though right now it's set to do uh, don't allow any calls if this is enabled and someone calls you twice within a 15 minute period they will still be actually able to call you the second time around um, so a good option to have in terms of uh, some kind of emergency if someone really needs to get a hold of you and then you have messages uh, almost same options you can tap here and choose which one you want and then again uh, notification sounds so alarms and stuff like that and choose whichever one you want and from there you can just leave this leave this entire setting and it's automatically enabled and you can see it right here uh, do not disturb mode and under in a gray text you have tt which is just what i named it um, so yeah and you can disable that manually if you want so this will right now turn it off and tomorrow it will turn back on or actually no it won't because it's wednesday tomorrow so it's gonna turn back on on thursday uh, but you can also manually turn it on by simply tapping on it and as you can see it just becomes enabled but doesn't have the schedule one underneath. So that is basically how you would enable and also set up the do not disturb mode and if you found this very helpful don't forget to like, subscribe and thanks for watching.